Well, I graduated college. I studied anthropology, and I did my field work on the Navajo Reservation. I was a pretty good distance runner in college, and I trained with their best, their best runners in the um, summer of 1983, I think it was. At any rate, I, I got out of college, and I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to be a journalist. And uh, so I immediately got a job waiting tables and started writing and published things once in a while for local newspapers and wrote short stories, et cetera. And it just didn't go very well. And I eventually got a job as a climber for tree companies. And uh, so I, was, I would work 50, 60, 70, 80 feet in the air on a rope with a chainsaw, taking trees down, you know, topping them out and piecing them out. And, and, um, and I got hurt doing it. I mean, it's a dangerous job. And I, and, I, and I got hurt, and I was recovering from that. And I thought, maybe I should write about dangerous jobs. And you know, I was about to turn 30 years old, and I, you know, I, got, I was like, i got to do something, and uh, i got to figure this out. One of the dangerous jobs I wanted to write about was commercial fishing. I was living in the town of Gloucester, Massachusetts, and a huge storm hit the town that sank a local boat, the Andrea Gale. So that set me on a trajectory towards my first book, The Perfect Storm. But another dangerous job I wanted to write about uh, was War Reporter. And um, in case I couldn't sell my storm book, I thought, man, I'll go to Sarajevo, there's a civil war going on in Sarajevo, and I'll learn to be a war reporter, and either I'll be, get to write about war reporting, or I'll be a war reporter. I, 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 was, I was trying to buy as many lottery tickets to my future as possible, basically. So I wound up in Sarajevo during the siege, during the war, as a freelance war reporter in the summer of 1993 and, and 1994.